Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we've got a few things going on. We're going to go trash picking. Um, I want to show you guys Lauren's new toy that she got. She's really, really excited about. Um, and then kind of towards the end of the video, I want to explain a few things, uh, kind of what's been going on. We haven't been able to put videos out like we used to, so I want to explain that and just want to have fun. It's springtime, birds are chirping. It's a beautiful day. Let's get into it. All right, first stop of the morning. Let's see if that blocks over. We've got this thing. Some rust around the edges and stuff, but that's not from the sink itself. Here, in just a second, I'll show you guys a little test that you can do to find out if your metals are non ferrous. Well, not metals, but you can find out if it's non ferrous. Some things that we've been seeing have been in the can. This battery powered blower. Still got some charge on it. Do you want to just walk up there and I'll pull up? I can do that. Okay. There we go. Oh, is that the core? No. Oh, we need her over there too. Cobalt 40 volt. No battery on it. It's okay. If anything, both of these items can be scrap metal. But we'll look and see what the price for this battery is. That's the catalytic converter issue. Let's see here. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, it's all broken. I'm sure it can be fixed pretty easy, but. We'll save the room for other stuff. But I feel like we're kind of, everything's kind of picked over. Mm -hmm. So guys, there is a tornado. Look, it was Okay guys, first stop of the day. We don't normally pick up a lot of baby stuff because they just don't sell that great, but this one looks pretty nice. We're gonna take a chance on it. Just go ahead and put them in the back seat if you can lift them. Lauren's got some. Come in the very back? Yeah, for now. Well, will they fit in the back seat? You need some help? You got it? You need some help? Dang, you're strong. Mama's strong, huh? Yeah. Look at her. I know. I'm put this one in here. It's all, tish, it's all packing paper. Okay. That's not a bad score. It's really bugging us. <laughs> you got more? My mom's decluttering, uh, getting rid of a bunch of stuff you know, around the house and she asked 
has to look for some moving boxes and we found some. Is that a bike? Uh, that is not Looks for like touch. a kid's bike probably That's so. That's not for touch. Nope, it, nope. It. stops um we've only been we've only been at it for a few minutes uh first couple of stops so if they're still there we'll, we'll scoop them up uh, i'm not sure if they'll resell very well but if anything could be scrap metal the only thing is they're, they're really lightweight oh. yeah they're they're not very sturdy they're decent they're they're uh they're okay but yeah. what Daddy. what are you doing back there So while we're cruising around until the next stop, I figured I'd talk to you guys about my shoulder. It's, uh, it's getting better, slowly. Um, I had a two hour physical therapy session the other day that really wiped me out and uh, messed me up pretty good. Um, I guess it's because I was working it so much, uh, it took a toll on me, but it's just getting stronger. It's gonna take us, uh, he says five weeks, but the way, like the way it feels when I get out and stuff, I feel like it's gonna be a little longer. But we'll see. Um, that's why you're gonna be seeing Lauren uh, loading a lot of stuff. Um, just uh, don't wanna don't wanna risk messing it up even more than it already is. So if it's something that she can get by herself, we'll let her grab it. She's real strong. Let me see that muscle. <laughs> but uh, so. All right, pulled up on something that we'll attempt, we'll attempt to grab the washing machine. Nah, it's actually not too heavy. I think we can manage this. So we'll see what we can do. All right, there it is. I have to lay those boxes down. Seems like it's definitely well used. I'm sure it doesn't work anymore, but looks like it's in pretty good shape. The scrap load starting. Yeah. So it wasn't too bad. Um, with Lauren on the other side, I just pretty much just had to use my one arm and we pushed it right on. It wasn't heavy either. Yeah, not too heavy. Luckily, it wasn't full of water. So there's a lip on the back of the of the washer. Push it up uh, far enough to where the um, where it'll kind of catch on the tailgate when you lean it backwards, and then you just get on the back and just pick it up. It just it's it's pretty pretty simple. Um, honestly, Lauren probably could have done it by herself, but maybe not. Right. All right, we got a little pile here. Lauren's looking. Scrap. Mm, I guess we can. Might as well start in a little scrap load anyway. What's that? Pottery. Pottery was a little kid's toy thing. Bed rails, we'll probably grab the bed rails. Do today? Oh look, Bob thing is that is perfect. They're in good shape. Well, I mean whether whether they are or not, you can still use them. If you want to grab them, go ahead. Yeah, 
So because Lucas is doing, well, I think some of them are in bad shape. We'll go through them. Also, we can give these to uh, Adam and Stacy some of these for their dogs to play with. But there's a bunch of baseballs in there too. Ask mom, hold on just a second, okay? It's actually a pretty nice chair. It's that fake leather stuff and it's peeling real bad. You could put a blanket or something over it or whatever, but we're not gonna take it. I know somebody's probably upset about it, and I'm sure it's a expensive chair, maybe. I don't see any names on it. But we are gonna pass. Yeah, it's cool. Alright, so one way that you can tell if an item is ferrous or non-ferrous, you take yourself a magnet and you stick it to it. If it sticks, it's non -fer or it's ferrous, meaning it's probably iron or steel. Now if you take your same magnet, excuse the mess over here, and you stick it to some other things, there, there is sticking. You take it over here to the sink that we picked up. As you see, it's not sticking. So this right here is most likely stainless steel. So that's just a surefire way of telling it um, if something is stainless steel, uh, copper, brass, aluminum, something like that, you get better prices at a scrapyard if those items are in fact non-ferrous. So keep a lookout for those if you are into the scrapping. And scrapping metal is not for everyone. Uh, some people that go trash picking, they're only looking for stuff to resell and that's perfectly fine. Like I said, it's not for everyone. Well, one other thing that you can pick up that's usually worth quite a bit of money is appliances. There's a stove that my dad got, and then here is that uh, washing machine. It looked like it was in fairly decent shape. Um, however, nothing, it wouldn't power on, and the this thing is just, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that, but like I said, it didn't, didn't power on anyway. And some people sell these knobs. These knobs, um, the knobs, the boards, all this stuff. Some of this stuff can be resold on eBay, but that's not something that I do. Same for these stoves. All the knobs. Um, even the burners. I mean, if they're in decent enough shape, you can sell those. And this handle could be resold. If that's something that you're into. Let me know in the comments if that's something that you guys do. Another thing while I'm out here and thinking about it, a buddy of mine, my dad started mowing yards uh, on the side, just, just mowing yards, kind of in, the, in his free time, a little extra cash, and my buddy brought me a mower. Obviously, it's off the trailer, but I want to show you guys what he brought us to use. Look at this bad boy. It's a 48-inch zero-turn Kub, uh, Kubota. And he just brought that out to us one day, about a three hour drive, you know, he bought his personal mower right here and said, hey, let your dad use this until he can, until he can get himself one. I thought that was really cool of him. Thing cuts really nice. I've been using it on our yard. Everything's just super green right now. This time of year, the grass is growing really, really fast. See the neighbor's puppies. So as you saw in one of the earlier clips of this video, Lauren's car was not running correctly. Um, had some catalytic converter issues and there was two of them on her car. They were about $300 a piece. And labor, it was gonna be about a seven to $800 repair just for that. 
plus it needed struts and different things and it had 240,000 miles on it so we found a used car dealership that gave us a really really good price for a trade-in for her car um, I mean most of the places was offering us like 500 bucks this place wound up giving us two thousand dollars for the trade-in and Lauren got this it's a little uh, Ford Fiesta it's a 2013 really really fuel efficient I think she's getting like uh, I think it's 41 miles to the gallon combined or no no highway combined I think it's 37 city I think it's 32 33 you can look it up <laughs> but they gave us a really good deal on her car pretty good price on this little car so yeah she's got herself a new car and as far as this old truck I don't know what I'm gonna do about this truck yet still got to find some way that will diagnose the problem correctly for me took it to a shop and they said it was not the timing chain but they weren't sure what it was they were gonna take a lot of money to diagnose it and everything so not sure yet what we're gonna do with the little truck thinking about I mean it starts and runs it's got brand new tires brand new leaf springs um, ball joints and U joints are have been replaced interior is clean exterior has no scratches or dings or dents or nothing like that the beds are good the windows are good I mean it's, it's a good truck thought about putting it up on uh, one of the buy sell trade websites and maybe trying to trade it for like a ATV or a UTV or something like that I still have my other truck so not sure about that another thing just while I'm thinking about it just kind of want to uh, apologize to you guys just for haven't been able to get any videos out um, I don't know what the deal is but things just around me are just super super picked over Anytime we go out, well, we always look, but there's just never anything, nothing. I mean, there's nothing out, nothing to pick. So I think that what I'm going to start doing is whenever we go out, like when we go out, we'll look and I'll maybe find one thing, like one small thing. So it's just not enough to make a full video of. So what I'm going to start doing is when we do go out to town and we start looking for stuff, I'm just going to kind of com combine several days worth of stuff um, to make a full video make things a lot easier on me and you guys will get better content also was wondering if you guys would be interested in like watching like vloggy style videos you know when we go out uh, to like a doctor's visit or um, just family outings that we go do would that be something you'd be interested in definitely thought about doing something like that but I know a lot of you guys are here just for the trash picking kind of stuff I know not everyone is you know a lot of you guys have kind of invested in the family so I'm just curious I wonder since I can't put out the videos like I want to put out as often as I used to if I was to substitute that would that be something y'all would want to watch like for instance we're getting ready to go um, see my buddy um, that we went to his wedding last October. We're going to go visit him for a couple of days. And I thought about doing kind of like a weekend vloggy like travel type video. Kind of get uh, videoing everything that we get into. But I don't know. Let me know. Let me know what you think. Got to do some yard work. Been mowing, but I've slacked off on the flower bed and the weed eating. It's just uh, it's easy to get out here and mow. But with the shoulder being the way it is, um, it's not as easy to weed eat. So I got physical therapy coming up here in just a few minutes. Uh, Lauren's actually getting ready right now. Um, we're going to go out do the physical therapy and do some stuff while we're in town. Check out this fire pit. Lauren's dad brought me. He actually picked it up off the curb. Got a grill and everything. Pretty nice. So, but anyway, that's all I got for you guys. Uh, again, sorry to takes me too long to get videos out um, hope you guys are all doing well uh, I guess we'll see you next time